So today we're going to be working on the swing outs for the back of my van that I've been making. So I got these two boxes and this is what I'm trying to uh, mount up. I got some mounting spots on the bottom that I've been measuring up and I got to take that into like account when I'm designing up this uh, brackets. This is looking great. It's been sitting here all night. These are like super hard. This, this resin impresses me every single time I use it. It is like so hard. And obviously it's like solid. This isn't going anywhere. I'm hyped about this. So before I get too far ahead of myself, I'm gonna show you guys where and how I'm gonna mount these things on my swing outs. So I got two and they were like 12 bucks, 13 bucks a piece from Harbor Freight. So they're gonna go somewhere right in here and I'm gonna build a little bracket that comes out, goes back, and then there's gonna be a bracket that comes off this back piece and mounts here. Like I'm, I got a little cam lock, so it's gonna swing out with, it's gonna clear everything, and it's gonna swing out with the whole tire carrier. I'm trying to keep this out as far as I can because the hitch is gonna mount right here, and as the trailer moves, I don't want it to hit this, and I want the trailer to move like a decent amount before it would bind and crush this box. So I got my brackets and I ground off all the spots that I'm gonna weld. So something along the lines of this. I need to weld it all together obviously and I'm gonna make some standoffs that go under this box to uh, mount, which actually I was looking at this box and it's so perfect. So there's four of these little feet and I'm gonna have you know a bolt, I'm gonna drill through the center of this and I'm gonna have a bolt on the inside and well four of them and it's gonna, it's gonna mount. Hey, come hold this for me. Come on. I'm busy. <laughs> Is that good? What are you doing? It's all right. Perfect. There's a bunch of shavings on it. Yep. So I'm absolutely loving how this is turning out. So the only thing I did was welded uh, this piece to this swing out. And what I'm gonna do now, I got these pieces cut and they're gonna be welded like that. One there, one there, and it's gonna mount to the bottom of this little container. I kind of hate doing this because it's brand new, but I think that's uh, how it's gotta be. So this is how I'm getting a decent thread in this uh, thin wall tube. I got these little pieces that I made up and the only thing these have is a four millimeter thread. I tapped into them. So right here, got the bolt in there. So pretty much in every one of these, I have this set up and this basically acts as a nut. There's more steel there so that the threads can actually have something to engage on. And then I got these holes drilled. So I'm gonna weld them in place. So the screw sucks it up tight against the, uh, the wall. And then after I weld them, I'll take this out and then I'll tap this M6. And then I'll be able to uh, secure my little box down and there will be, so there's about eight millimeter of thread versus just the wall which is like 1.75. So there's a lot more thread engagement I can get with uh, this little setup that I'm doing. So whenever you wanna cool something down that's steel, if you put it on another piece of steel that's cold, similar to that, these two pieces will suck the heat right out of them and they'll cool down way, way faster. So I wanna show you guys how I'm making washers for my bolt to seal on the bottom with these holes. So I got the bolt here, which is gonna go into that hole, but I need a rubber washer under this head of this bolt. Now I was thinking about buying these, but I remembered that I could make them myself. I have this Precision brand uh, punch set, which has all these sizes and also has little uh, pieces that will fit on the tip of the punch to center up like an existing hole that you just punched. So this is a six millimeter bolt and a quarter inch is a little bit clearance for a six, it's 6.35, so that will easily pass through, you know, the six millimeter thread. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna punch a piece of this, uh, six millimeters, that quarter inch punch. So I got my piece of rubber here, 
This is what I'm gonna make the washer out of. So I got this piece of rubber in there and you can see it because this is a clear piece of uh, plastic, but I'm gonna make a quarter inch hole in this, which will um, be a little bit of a clearance hole for my six millimeter bolt. So that's all it takes. And then you hit it. So you can see that that is through now. And I got my little end that it punched out. So now I have a hole for the bolt to pass through. As you can see, it passes through fine, but I need the outside to be, you know, obviously a circle so it can fit under this head. So this is a 5 8 punch, and that is the right size for the head of this bolt. So on every single one of these punches, it has a hole, and that hole will accept a little insert. And this insert is a quarter inch. So if I put this in there, when I put this piece of rubber into this little die, like that, this tip that I just put in there will center. It'll center that piece and it'll be it'll be a round washer when it's all said and done. It won't be off because this is uh, pushing it right. So I got my little piece of rubber in there and then I'm gonna tap on this. And right there, it just went through. So I should, right here. This is what uh, came out. And as you can see, it just cut it. So this is a little washer that I just made with this punch set, which is absolutely perfect for this little uh, M6 bolt. Now this will pass right through that hole in the bottom of this, and that'll seal. That'll seal perfect. And I got eight of them. So I just got it off of this little piece of rubber, which was actually in a jet ski. And the jet ski was from like the mid nineties. And this has been exposed to oil, gas, heat, and cold temperatures too in the winter and it's still super pliable so i don't know what this is maybe like a silicone or some kind of whatever kind of rubber this is it'll hold up it'll definitely hold up to this so this should be cooling off now and i'll show you guys the little threaded uh pieces that i got so now when i tap this the thread will actually have a little bit of uh meat to grab onto and not this super thin wall and these these screws held this uh little nut essentially this up tight and they're welded in place, so they're super solid, not going anywhere. Now these need to be drilled out, M6, which is this style, and I just showed you guys how I made these uh, washers. So yeah, this needs to be able to thread into there. So I got my mounts bolted up. They look super good. It's exactly what I was thinking. And the, this backside, I'll weld straight to the uh, bracket that's on the swing away and it should be positioned perfectly. So I think that's it for that and I think that's it for tonight. It's like 11.30, it's getting cold out. It's getting so cold at night. It's getting uh, right down to freezing temp, which isn't a good thing because I have straight water in my van's coolant system. So I definitely need to hop on that timing belt, water pump, thermostat, all the stuff that I got and I need to get that done. Need to get regular coolant in there and need to wrap up this swing away and head south because dude it's getting too cold and i don't like it